grew up in Mesa, as I told you, Mesa, Arizona, and I saw Ricky play in the high school championship game. And he was known as Ricky Gray then. And I honestly didn't think he was gonna play linebacker in college because he was such a great fullback. You played running back, right? You were fullback. Um, he ends up going to USC the very next year and he starts as a freshman. Was that the year you guys won the national championship? Yes. Your freshman year, you're 18 years old. He starts at USC at outside linebacker and they win the national championship. This, I've, I've been watching this guy. We did not meet until tonight. We never met. Now, he did tackle me a few times. He reminded me of, he reminded me that tonight, that he, he tackled me. still doing it. <laughs> Want to try? Nah. Just... Uh, no, we're not going to do that. Uh, part of the reason why we're not going to do that is because my uh, former college teammate, Tom Holmo, who's now the athletic director at BYU, played with him in the 49ers. They were roommates, and Tom told me, all you need to know about Ricky is his nickname among the 49ers was Fruit Loops. <laughs> okay, enough said. Uh, Ricky, let's go back to your Mari uh, heritage. Um, was, was the name change connected to that in some way, shape, or form, or no? Yeah, I've, uh, my family is, is uh, well established. My uncle uh, was the chief of the Nahitahu tribe in the South Island. My grandfather, uh, got the uh, Order of the British Empire for his healing of the sick in Polynesia uh, in, the, in the 30s. And my uh, great-grandfather um, married the Tairua uh, family. So we'll, we've had a heritage of martyrdom. I, I do want to say that, that the big thing I think that crosses all of us is, is mana. And uh, my uncle sat me on my knee when I was eight and said, you know, life is about a journey. And uh, New Zealand, the biggest island in Polynesia, has Alps, big mountains with snow, uh, <laughs> on the east coast. And he says, it's about a journey of climbing those mountains. And if you climb those mountains, and you think it's about yourself, when you climb to the top, you go back down, and you have to climb again. And you keep climbing those mountains until you feel, until you give back to your people, your village, your tribe. When you do that, you're able to go down to the west coast, east coast of uh, New Zealand, and reap the fruits of Cambry Plains. Wow, that's fascinating. Um, that deserves a big hand, I think. <laughs> and I bet few of you who watched him play even knew that he was uh, had Polynesian heritage, uh, which is to me just as good. Uh, I've had to sit and tan like four days here. Again. <laughs> <Get brown. laughs> um, Ricky, I want to I ask you this because of what we saw in the video. And it's because it's something that I constantly preach to Polynesian kids, which is make football work for you. Don't work for football. Make football work for you. One of the things that I admire about Ricky, besides playing football, is the fact that he got a great degree from one of the great private schools on the planet. University of Southern California. We've had many of our, yeah. many of our Polynesian kids have gone there, but you left there with a degree. What was your degree in? And tell me a little bit more about what you do now. My degree was in uh, international relations and I got a, a graduate program in street defensive studies. But l let me just regress a little bit because I, I'm very humbled to be here that I think the three greatest Polynesian players to mm -hmm. play this game came out of USC. Mosi Tapulu, which, which I looked up to, Junior Seha, and Troy Palmano. Um, I also want to give credit to my teammate there, Jesse, um, who's a hell of a player. We had a battle every day in practice quite a bit. He's on the offense, I'm on the defense. Um, but going back, to, going back to your question, it's about competitive culture. And I think our people, our race, our warriors are competitors. And if you get in a, uh, a group of great competitors, situation you're going to rise your ability to play to compete and, and to win under pressure great leadership is about making the right decisions at the right time for the right reasons under extreme pressure and i think that carries into any field that you go into once you learn those skill sets and those skill sets are, are, are built on competition and the polynesian people are built to compete and build
What does it feel like to have your family here and to see the honor that's been given to you uh, by our people? Well, Junior is just phenomenal. That, that, that just display was <laughs> spectacular. Now, it, you know, I, it's, it's so, I think, important for, for the New Zealand people and the Maori people to feel part of, of this culture and, and for you and your selection committee to consider a Maori uh, to be part of it. I think the legend goes we were kicked off of the Hawaiian Islands because we ate the king's dog and we were banished. <laughs> so so we, we got in canoes <laughs> outside, of, outside of a cave in Kauai, I think, and we started rowing and we got lost. <laughs> And we're, you know, 4,500 miles down south. So thank you for letting us back on here. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, 2017 inductee from USC, the 49ers, and the Raiders, Ricky Ellison. <laughs> that was uh, special. That was choice. And now, our next inductee.